In recent days, we have had a number of shocking reminders of the killing power of firearms. Of course, we now know that a gunman in Norway uh, took um, upwards of 68 young lives uh, at a youth center in that country. Um, that death toll from guns on a single day was regarded in that country as a historic event but it is less than the daily death toll from gun violence in our own country. We lose 80 of our fellow countrymen every single day. Within 48 hours of the Norway shootings, there were four multiple shootings in the United States. Five killed at a birthday party at a Texas roller rink. Nine wounded during a fight between teenagers at a party in Central Florida. One killed and eight wounded at an outdoor party near Stockton, California. Seven wounded at a casino shooting near Seattle. Now our organization works to try to prevent these kinds of tragedies in many different ways. For example, we work for stronger laws and regulations to try to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people. Well, you know, you often hear uh, the gun lobby refrain, guns don't kill people, people kill people. Well, what the Norway shooting shows is that guns make a huge difference. Um, the combination of a dangerous individual and a gun can lead to mass killing. And we see that over and over again. We saw it uh, on the street in front of a Safeway grocery so store in Tucson in January of this year. Violent individuals who um, seek to inflict this kind of death and injury uh, don't choose baseball bats as their weapons. They don't choose knives. They choose guns. And the Norway shooter um, uh, also blew up a building. But the death toll from that explosion was much less than the death toll uh, at the youth camp when he used two semi-automatic weapons. So in our way of thinking, the Norway shooting demonstrates the reason we do the work we do. Uh, because guns are different. They are more lethal than other weapons. Um, and it is life-saving work uh, to work to keep them out of the hands of dangerous people.